Welcome everyone, I'm Emily with Miss Montana Yoga. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. So go ahead and find a comfortable seated position, taking a moment to come into whatever space you're using, rounding down into the sitting bones, stack the spine up one bone at a time, pull the shoulders up towards the ears, down the back, reach up through the crown of the head. You can take the gaze off the tip of the nose or let the eyes close. That next inhale, start to deepen the breath, filling the belly, rib cage, up to the collarbones. Exhale, collarbones, rib cage, and the belly. Inhale from the bottom, all the way up to the top. Exhale from the top all the way down to the bottom. Keep working with the breath, making each a little longer, a little fuller than the one before. Just noticing anything that comes up, whether it's some place in your body that's talking to you, some thought that's running across your brain. For me, things have been feeling really heavy this week, so play with a combination of getting nice and grounded and then really lifting up and getting light. Another breath or two here. On the top of the next exhale, really full, completely. Hold it for a moment. And then exhale it all out through the mouth, using the belly, pressing out that last bit of air. Bring the breath back to a natural rhythm, in and out through the nose. You can come back to that breath at any point during our practice and find your level of effort and ease. The next exhale, drop the chin to the chest. Inhale, right ear over towards the right shoulder and pause. Shoulders nice and heavy. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear to the left shoulder. Pausing there. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, right ear towards the right shoulder, and then continue circling the head and neck all the way around. Just find some nice big circles with the nose. Just working out all the little Rice Krispies, switching directions as you're ready. Bring it up to center, give the shoulders a couple circles. And with the hands to the legs, start to circle the torso. Just let it be nice and fluid, starting to warm up the hips and the low back. Spine can be long or you can let it move. And bring it back to center. And as you inhale, sweep both arms up. And go ahead, really reach up through the fingertips. Let the shoulders come all the way up to the ears. Find that lift up out of the waist. And then exhale, release the arms down, the shoulders be heavy, fingertips to the mat. Again, inhale, sweep everything up, really reach and lift. Exhale, sweep it down. Inhale, sweep up, lifting up tall. This time as you exhale, release the right hand down, reach up and over to the right. Connecting into that left sitting bone. We'll take that top hand and kind of lift it up. It's like there was a string attached to the wrist and it was pulling you up towards the sky, adding a little lift to that top shoulder and then pulling it up and across, finding that full length in the side body. Another breath here. Then inhale, sweep it up to center, nice and tall. Exhale, left hand down, up and over to the left. Take that top hand up to the sky. Again, imagine that string drawing you up, finding that lift and length in both sides of the torso, and then pulling it up and over, finding a bit more space. Another breath. Inhale it up to center. So you exhale, release both hands to the floor behind you. Fingertips can point towards the hips for a bit more stretch on the wrists. And inhale, lift the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the gaze slightly, spreading the collarbones, find that space in the front of the body. Inhale up to center and exhale, fold forward any amount. Walking those 
fingertips out in front of you. Maybe you spread the legs a little bit wider, make space, take it up. And as you inhale, really lengthen the spine, lift the heart, exhale, ripple forward to fold. Twice more, inhale, lift long, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold a little deeper. Feel free to walk the hands out in front of you. Maybe take them a little side to side. Another breath here. Inhale to roll yourself up. Either roll over the shins or swing the legs back around behind you for child's pose. Hips back towards the heels, knees a comfortable distance apart. Belly melts towards the thighs, arms extend out in front of you. If it's better for your knees, you can stack hip over knees and be on the forearms. My little side to side movement. Take a nice big breath into the back of the body, spreading the ribs. And exhale it completely. Another breath here. And then spread the fingers, anchoring down to the base of the fingers, the fingertips. As you inhale, shift the weight forward, adding low to the wrist. Exhale, press it back in your mouth. Inhale, shift forward, maybe start tucking the toes. As you exhale, kind of stretching into the soles of the feet. A couple more times, inhale, shifting forward, exhale, pressing back. Maybe the shoulders come forward of the wrists. Maybe the hips come all the way back to the heels or not even close. Big or small movement as feels good for you. And then bring it up to center, finding your all fours. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. And just kind of walk it out, shift a little side to side. And we'll just stretch out the wrists. So start walking the fingers out to the side. You can shift the weight back to take some load off the wrists. Keeping the elbows soft. Maybe they come all the way to point back towards the knees. Pressing the palms of the hands towards the mat as you lean back. Range of motion is gonna be very different for everyone. So find a version of this that works for you. If that doesn't feel good, you can always find a stretch with one hand pulling the other back of the other hand towards your nose. Maybe a little forward and back movement. And then we'll flip the palms over so the backs of the hands are into the mat. Again, start with those fingers pointing towards the knees and shift the weight back, take the load off the wrists. And then feel free to walk the fingertips towards each other to the front or maybe out to the side, finding a little movement up into the shoulders. Good. And then shake them out, coming back to center. So you inhale, lift the tail, lift the chest and the gaze. Exhale, tuck the tail, round the spine, drop the head. Inhale, lift the tail, chest slides forward for cow. Exhale, tuck the tail, arching up into cat, press the floor away. Couple more rounds following the rhythm of your own breath. You can play with starting that movement in the tailbone, rippling it up the spine, mobilizing all those little bones. And find a neutral spine, a little side to side movement, wagging your tail. Good. And then from here, we're going to scoop the belly in, tuck the toes, start to press the floor away to start activating the core. I'll take my shirt off so you can see what's happening. And you can stay here just working this activation or hover the knees just an inch off the mat. Good. Taking a breath here, really pressing up between the shoulder blades. Release that down. You can stay there or walk the hands forward, one handprint. Fingers nice and spread. I turn mine out slightly. Tuck the toes, scoop the belly in, activate first, and then lift the knees up in the amount. Holding here, maybe the knees never lift. Maybe they just can find that activation. That's the first step. Release it down. Stay there or one more handprint forward. Scooping it in. Cover the knees up, hold it here. Either release the knees down to the mat for puppy or child's pose or continue pressing the hips back and up for your downward dog. 
Just adjust the distance between feet and hands. Just walk the feet out, press one heel towards the floor and then the other. Shift the hips a little side to side. So fingers nice and spread. Arms are rot back of the arms rotating towards the back of your mat. So there's some space between the ears. Belly's really pressing back towards the thighs, knees nice and bent for a nice long spine. And then release the knees to the floor and shift forward, finding your low plank. Good, you can always come to all fours. Just take a moment here, kind of drawing back with the head, lift up in the belly. And exhale, release everything down to the mat. Tops of the feet press into the floor. Take the fingertips out wide. Those elbows rolling back. And as you inhale, peel the chest up. Exhale, release down. Inhale, lift it up, really pressing into the tops of the feet. Exhale, take a look under the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, release down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, look under the left. Inhale, center. And exhale, release. Good, hands under the shoulders. Take a breath in to prepare. As you exhale, press up to your low plank, and then hover the knees and press the hips up and back, downward dog. Good, next inhale, shift forward. Maybe you're ready for a high plank, top of a push-up. Really pressing up between the shoulder blades, scoop the belly in, squeezing the inner thighs together as you reach through the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, hover them an inch over the mat, and then press the hips back and up, downward dog. Twice more, inhale, ripple forward to plank. Exhale, bend the knees, press back and up. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, hover the knees, back and up. Take a breath here. And then nice and slow, kind of shifting the hips, really smooshing the sole of the foot to the floor. Start walking the feet up to the hands, letting the knees bend as much as they need. Hands come off the mat whenever that needs to happen. Nice soft forward fold. Release the hands towards the floor. The next inhale, flat back, lift the gaze. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, lift the belly. Exhale, fold. This time as you inhale, tuck the tail, roll yourself up bone by bone. Bring the head up left. Roll the shoulders up and back a couple times. Finding the front of your mat. And find your mountain pose so feet can be nice and wide, powerful stance. Maybe big toes touching, heels slightly apart. Spread the toes nice and wide. Draw the kneecaps up. Scoop the belly in. Roll the shoulders back. Reach up through the crown of the head. Next inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward, fold, leading with the chest, everything heavy. We inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step the right leg back, set the knee down for a low lunge. Add whatever padding you need, bring the torso up, hands to the front thigh. All right, take a moment, adjusting the legs, squaring the hips, maybe shifting the knee forward and back before stacking the knee over the ankle. Make it nice and grounded and powerful, so really pressing into the right shin, that left foot, kind of scissoring the legs together. We'll walk the fingertips up the sides of the torso all the way up. Inhale, reaching up. And as you exhale, settle into this. So maybe dropping a bit deeper into the hips. Let the shoulders drop down into the shoulder blades. Make a little space with the arms. Get really big. Take up that space. Uh, so as the hips are heavy and anchoring down, we're lifting up out of the waist, lifting the rib cage up. Next exhale, release the hands to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, press the hips back, straightening that front leg. Inhale, shift it forward, lift the chest. Exhale, press back. Once more, inhale forward. And exhale, back and pause. Finding your half split here. So maybe walking the front foot forward, drawing the left hip back, soft bend to the front leg. And stay here or find that wave-like movement with the spine as you inhale really lengthen and lift exhale folding forward twice more inhale lengthen 
exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold a little deeper. One more breath here. And inhale to shift it forward. Good. Planting the right hand or fingertips to the mat where it's propped. Inhale the left arm up to the sky. Make a couple big circles with that top arm. Maybe the fingertips brush the floor. Good. And then we'll reach that arm up and really get into the twist here. So maybe you come a little deeper into the hip. Like that imaginary string has hold of the top wrist, really lifting you up. Finding that lift as you rotate from the waist up. And then exhale, release that hand down. Step that front foot back, all fours. Inhale into cow. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips back to child's pose. Inhale, shift forward, low plank or high plank. Exhale, bend, hover the knees. Press back to downward dog, child's pose or puppy pose. Take a moment here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Soften the knees, walk or step, feet up to hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep or roll all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart by your side. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, set the left leg back. Set the knee down for a low lunge to the other side. Add padding here if necessary. Bring the torso up when you're ready. Just make those little adjustments. Maybe drawing the right hip back. Shift the knee forward and back. Before stacking the knee over the ankle, shoulders over hips. Start to activate the legs, scissoring them together to lift up out of the waist. Walk the fingertips up the sides of the torso. Reach them all the way up to really squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. And as you exhale, just drop the shoulders down and away, heavy into the hips as you're lifting the rib cage up off the waist. Get those arms nice and wide and big, make some space, maybe open up the chest. Another breath here. And inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Take a breath in to really lift the chest, coming up onto the fingertips. Exhale, press the hips back, straighten the front leg. Twice more, inhale, shift it forward, lift the chest. Exhale, press back, straighten the leg. Inhale, bend the front knee, lengthen the spine. Exhale, press back and pause. Finding your half split here, adjusting the hips, keeping that left hip drawing under, right hip drawing back so they're still lifted. Inhale, lengthen the spine up on the fingertips. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Twice more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Pausing here for a breath. Next inhale, shift forward, planting that front foot in the left hand. And then draw the right arm up to the sky. Take a couple big circles, moving that shoulder and the upper back. And then opening up into your twist, that imaginary rope attached to the top wrist, kind of lifting you up and out. Another breath here. And exhale, cartwheel that hand down. Step the front foot back, all fours. Inhale, cow. Exhale, tuck the tail, press back, child's pose. Inhale, shift forward, low or high plank. Exhale, hover the knees, press back, child's pose, down dog or puppy pose. Breath in, breath out. And bend the knees, look to the hands, walk, step, maybe hop, feet to hands. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, take a nice long forward fold. Feel free to walk those feet a little further apart, make some space. Hands can come behind the legs or interlace behind the back of the neck for some gentle traction. Side to side movement or forward and back. And then release the arms towards the floor. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep or roll all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart by your side.
And then coming back to that mountain pose. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, right leg steps back, setting the knee down. Inhale, up to your low lunge. Exhale, pause. Inhale, really lift the torso. Exhale, hands to the mat, press it back, half split. Take a breath here. Inhale, shift forward. Plant the right hand, left arm opens up to the sky for your twist. Exhale, hand to the mat, slip the front leg back. Inhale, cow. Exhale, tuck the tail, roll back to child's pose. Inhale, forward, low or high plank. Exhale, back, down dog, child's pose or puppy pose. A breath in, breath out. Bottom of the next exhale, bend the knees, look to the hands, walk, step, jump, feet to hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep or roll all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart, by your side. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, left leg sets back, set the knee down. Inhale up to your low lunge. Exhale to settle. Inhale, really lift the chest. And exhale, hands to the mat. Shift it back, half split. Take a breath in, breath out. Inhale, shift forward. Plant the left hand, open up into your twist. Take a breath here. And exhale, hand to the mat. Front leg steps back. Inhale, cow. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, low or high plank. Exhale, back. Child's pose, down dog or puppy pose. Breath in. Breath out. And the knees, look to the hands, walk, step, jump, feet to hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep or roll all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart by your side. Pause in here, take a breath. And we'll find some balance. So just start to shift the weight into that right foot. Scoot the belly in, draw the left knee up, hip height. Maybe the toes stay to the mat, so maybe they come all the way up. Good, pausing here, keeping that hip nice and heavy. Hands can come to heart center. Another breath. And then release it down. Good, shifting the weight into the left foot. Keep nice and solid there. Scoop the belly in, draw the right knee up in the amount. Maybe that's toes to the mat, maybe that's knee hip height. Nice and heavy into that hip. Couple breaths here, finding a focus point in front of you that's not moving to help with the balance. Release it down, give the hips a shake. Shifting the weight into the right leg again. Inhale to draw the left knee up and keeping the hips nice and square to the front. Start opening that right knee, left knee out to the side in the amount. Good, so only go as far as you can keeping those hip points forward. You can take a hand to the outside of the leg, kind of press it in there, or take a hand to the inside and help open it out. Another breath here. Draw it to center, release it down. Good. Shifting the weight into the left foot, nice and strong. Inhale to draw the right knee up, and exhale, opening it out to the side. Embracing the wobble, again, keeping the hip points pointing forward. Take a hand behind or in front. Get the leg something to press back into or using the hand to help open it up. Or hands to heart center. Flexing the ankle to help with the effort. Bring it back to center and release it down. Good, shaking out the legs a little. Once more, shifting the weight into the right foot. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, open it out to the side. 
And this time we'll come into tree pose. So maybe that's heel on the ankle or that sole of the foot, anywhere on the inner line of the leg. Just drawing up through center, hands to heart center, and maybe grow some branches. It's really rooting down into that standing leg as you lift up through center, up through the crown of the head, maybe reaching through the fingertips. Grounding to grow. And a little lightness, a little lift. And to come out of this, we'll stretch everything out nice and long and release it down. Good. Shake it out for a moment. Come back to center. Shifting into the left foot. As you inhale, drive the right knee up to the chest. Exhale, open it out to the side. And coming into your tree pose. Maybe that's heel to ankle. Foot on the shin. Maybe it comes all the way up to the inner thigh. And whatever this pose looks like for you on this side today. And then really draw up through center, hugging the low ribs in. Maybe growing some branches, really reaching up. Embracing the wobble, if you come out of it, just come back into it. Coming back to the breath, these are all breathing poses. Once more. And to come out of it, we'll extend everything out nice and long, and just release the foot down. Good. Step the feet wide, and just swing the arms, letting everything be soft all the way down the ankles, into the knees. Bring it to center. Take the toes out, heels in. Inhale, really reach the arms up. As you exhale, bend the knees and elbows, dropping down into your horse stance. Again, inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up. Exhale, draw it down, pulling the knees and elbows behind you. Once more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, drop it down and pause. Good, adjusting so that tailbone's tucking underneath you, low ribs hugging in. And we'll release that right hand down, reach up and over to the right. Find that lift into that top shoulder. Inhale up to center. Exhale, left hand down, reaching up and over to the right, left. <laughs> Sides are hard. Inhale up to center, squeeze the legs to draw yourself up. Spin the toes in, heels out. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hinge forward any amount to fold. Releasing the hands to the legs, to the floor, maybe a prop underneath you. And again, here as you inhale, straighten the spine, lengthen and lift. Exhale, release and fold. Twice more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold, maybe drawing a bit deeper. You can play with lifting the arches, shifting the weight to the toes, the balls of the feet. And then walking the hands over towards that right foot. Bending into the right knee, find your side lunge. So maybe that's keeping the hips up, sole the foot to the floor, finding your stretch along the inner leg, or spinning the toes up and dropping really deep into that right knee. It'll look a little different on everyone, so find a version that works well for you. Inhale it up across center. Exhale, walk it over to the left, bending into the left knee, finding your side lunge here. Hands could be up on the thigh, to the mat, maybe dropping the hips all the way down, maybe rolling the right toes to the sky. Another breath. Inhale it up through center. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, squeeze the legs, draw yourself up, press the hips forward. And heel toe or step those feet together underneath you, coming back to the front of the mat. Owning your mountain pose, grounding to grow. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flex back. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step the feet back to all fours. Inhale, cow. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale forward, low or high plank. Exhale back, child's pose, down dog or puppy pose. Take a 
breath here. And we'll all meet in child's pose, releasing the knees to the mat, finding a bit of effort, ease here. You can stack the hands under the forehead or wrap the hands around the sides. Using the hands, press the torso up, shift the hips to the side, swing the legs around in front of you. From here, we'll move down to the back. You can find some effort one bone at a time or support yourself with the arms. When you get here, Tuck the shoulder blades underneath you, walk the heels in towards the hips, arms down by the sides. As you inhale, press into the heels, lift up into your bridge pose. Your choice, you can move with the breath, lowering and lifting, or just hold here for three to five breaths. If you're holding, you can roll onto the tops of the shoulders, hands grab outside edges of the mat or interlace behind the back. Really reaching long through the knees, lifting the hips, grounding into the full soles of both feet. Another breath wherever you are and exhale to lower it down bone by bone when the hips find the floor windshield wiper the knees a little side to side and take the arms out to a T or cactus arm shift the hips to the left drop the knees to the right and find a twist whatever version works best for your body today whether that's Stacking the legs, crossing them, knees bent or straight. Slowing down the breath, letting gravity do the work here. And inhale it up to center. And exhale to the other side. So hips shift right, knees drop left. You can take the gaze off to the right over that shoulder. Feel free to take a different shape on this side whatever serves you best. Another breath here. Inhale, knees up to center. And exhale, hug them into the chest, front of the shins or back of the thighs. A little side to side movement on the low back. And then releasing the legs down and coming to Shavasana for our last resting pose here. Letting the limbs fall away from the body. Eyes softly closed, shoulders scoop down away from the ears, bring the focus to the breath. Breathing in, breathing out. We're taking a few more moments here. practice you can stay here as long as you like otherwise gently start to deepen the breath and some movement in the fingers and toes hands and feet and the arms overhead take a full body stretch and bend the knees roll to your favorite side pausing for a moment there or using the strength of the arms to press yourself up, find a comfortable seated position. Anchoring down to the sitting bones. Stack the spine up one bone at a time. Roll the shoulders up towards the ears, down the back, reach up through the crown of the head. Together we'll take a breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and 
hands together in front of the heart, soft bow to the chin for some gratitude for making it to the mat today for all your effort. Thank you for your presence and your practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day.